good morning everybody my name is Harpo and welcome to how to create a Minecraft 1.8 resource pack using a free program called GIMP. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make uh, basic Minecraft tools or edits of these tools. I'll show you how to use uh, the basic different tools uh, that you can use in GIMP and then from there I'll just let you explore and uh, I'll let you create uh, whatever comes to your mind. I'm just going to show you the basics. Okay, so let's get started. Let's exit out of these. Uh, the first thing that you'll need to do is go to this website. Link will be in the description. And then click uh, right here where it says this link. And there you will download GIMP. You'll see that it's right here. But we don't really, we don't really need it, so let's just do cancel. So go there, click this link, and then the download GIMP. Follow the setup wizard. Everything will get uh, installed. And why is it doing this again? Uh, so weird. Huh. Uh, so go there, follow it, install it all, and then GIMP should be right there. Just find it, and it'll install all the files. And then once it opens, it should look like this a little bit. Okay, from here, we've downloaded GIMP. Let's download our resource pack. This we're going to be using the Faithful uh, 32 by 32 texture pack. I enjoy this because. You know, with 32 by 32, there's just uh, so many more pixels uh, to use, and there's a lot more space for, like, detail, and all this is just great. And uh, since it's already a pre-made resource pack, uh, everything you need is already in there. You don't have to go and create your own. So we have that. And why is it doing this? It's so weird. So let's go to our downloads. Let's see, where would it be? It would be right here. Shoo, I'll fly. It was this one, I think. Let's drag that to the desktop, exit out of this. So we have our uh, resource pack. Let's go ahead and uh, open it. And if you have uh, if you have WinRAR, go ahead and extract it to a, a folder uh, on your desktop. I'm just going to make a new one. We'll title it uh, Faithful. We'll do Extract 2, and then we'll find this folder. OK. Let it do its thing. Let it process. It's taking longer than usual. I don't know why. Come on. There we go. All the files have been extracted, so we can just put that in the corner. We don't need it. So let's open up this. Go to Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and then go down to Items. And we'll just do uh, we'll just do something basic like a diamond sword. That seems to be like what what everyone likes to do first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here. Uh, one thing that you can do is, oops, let me drag this back over. You can right click on this and do Edit with GIMP. I don't know if that shows up after you first install it, uh, but I guess maybe you can drag it over. Yeah, you can just drag it over uh, into GIMP and then it'll open. So we're here. Uh, let's go over some of the basic tools. First one you're going to use is the uh, is uh, the zoom tool. Uh, you can click on it and do uh, just kind of highlight the area and then it'll zoom in for you or you can press control and use your mouse wheel and uh, scroll back and forth and so you can get a little bit more precise uh, whenever you're zooming. Okay, so next, uh, one of the tools that I like to use uh, a lot is the paintbrush tool. Uh, wow, that's really big. You don't want that size. Go down uh, below all the tools and go to where it says size. And then go ahead and just delete all these and uh, type in 1.00, press enter, and you'll get uh, the one pixel size. You can see it fits perfectly right there. So yeah, the paintbrush tool, I like to use that a lot. I'll show you why in uh, just a minute. My dog, you need to calm down. Uh, the next tool is uh, the pencil tool. And uh, what's cool about this tool is it'll snap on to each uh, pixel, and it'll also fill in uh, that area that you've clicked on in one click. So this, let's see this pixel right here. One click, it's filled in with the color that has been selected, which is black. But uh, the paintbrush tool, if you do one click, uh, it slowly turns uh, to that color. Basically, adds a little bit of black to what color was already there. You click again and again and again and again, and then it'll start uh, to turn that color, and eventually it will turn solid. Uh, to uh, undo something like that, that, the little examples that I just did, do Control Z and just keep pressing it until uh, everything's back to normal. Or you can do you know Edit Undo, but nothing else to undo. Next tool is uh, the paintbrush tool. It's pretty much just like the pencil tool. One click will color in the whole thing, but it will color in an uh, entire area uh, that is the same color or colors that are similar 
uh, to the color that you just uh, clicked on. Uh, the next tool is the eraser tool. Uh, this one, again, you need to adjust the size, but once you've done it for one of these tools, it'll stick uh, for all of them. And uh, you know, this erase tool is pretty simple. Just keep clicking and then it'll erase. All right. The last tool is the color picker tool. Uh, this one's pretty cool because, you know, whenever I first started doing this, I would always struggle, like, going to find a different color, like in here, trying to match the colors up. But I never really discovered this tool until uh, a few weeks ago, actually. This is pretty cool. You can just click on a color, and you can see that it's been selected right here, right there again. So that's pretty cool. That's something pretty cool. I'm starting to use that a lot. Okay, so we've gone over the basic tools. Uh, we have everything set up. So let's just, you know, let's just do something. Do really, you can do whatever you want. I don't really want to spend time and actually do an entire uh, sword because I don't want to waste that much time. I just want to get this uh, through. I want to show you how to export it. Put it back in the resource pack. Put the resource pack. Uh, your Minecraft folder, get everything started, and just kind of show you the finished result. So let's just grab a pencil tool, and you can just, I'll just start coloring in a bunch of random pixels. We'll choose a different color. I'll choose red, and I'll just kind of go something like this. Yeah, something like that. We'll use paintbrush tool, kind of show you what that does. Yeah. Cool. All right, so, yeah, it looks like my sword's covered in blood, you know. All that fun stuff. But... You know, you can do whatever you want, really. You can do uh, any design. You can, you know, erase. You know, go ahead and, like, erase something and try and add something of your own. Do whatever you feel that you want to do. But just possibilities are endless with this. You know, I could spend hours here just trying to find the right thing that just fits what I want. But I'm not going to do that here for you. I'm just going to show you kind of the basics, exporting, and all that fun stuff. So we've got our sword. It looks looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? So let's uh, we want to export this. Go to up to file. Uh, we don't really need to save it unless you want an extra copy of it somewhere, but I don't really want it. Uh, we're gonna go to export, and it's already selected uh, to go back into the items folder. I don't really like to do that just in case something happens. So I always put it to to my desktop. I'm gonna click export, export again, and let's go ahead and exit out of this. We don't need it. Go ahead and exit out of GIMP again. As you can see, it's right here on our desktop. It looks pretty cool, blood red. So let's go ahead and bring back over our items. We can go ahead and delete that one. Let's go ahead and add back this. And it moves to the bottom. I don't know why, but it's still in the pack. Uh, it doesn't need to be in any specific order. So we can go ahead and exit out of that. Okay, so next we need to put the resource pack into our resource packs folder. So we're going to open up a new... Uh, Explorer window. We're going to go up to the top in the search bar. We're going to type percent app data percent. Click enter. We'll go to our different uh, applications that we have. We're going to go to dot Minecraft and then resource packs. And we'll take our faithful and then we'll drag it into the resource packs folder. And it's right there. Everything is uh, still here. It's just now in a different location and ready to be used in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and open up. Minecraft. Come on. Load faster. I haven't opened up Minecraft in so long. I've been playing way too much CSGO. Uh, oh well. Alright, so we're getting Minecraft open. That was pretty quick. So we're going to go to Options, uh, Resource Packs, and uh, has it already been selected? That seems interesting. So go ahead and select uh, Faithful. Click done, done, goes to a random world, tests and stuff, and there we go. Our bloodshot sword that we just created uh, is now here, sword on the ground. Look at that beauty. Look at this beauty. It's a good PvP texture pack. Mm, 10 out of 10. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of how to create a texture pack. You can do it with any item, uh, something like that, that I just showed you. You do it with any item. Uh, you can probably do it with some of the blocks, uh, but there are some things like uh, armor and uh, stuff like this, the three-dimensional objects and stuff, uh, that you have to edit more than one thing for it to actually like work. But, you know, that's not what I'm going to go over. I don't think I will go over something like that. Uh, I still need to find out how to do that, that myself. 
But, uh, you know, there are also a lot of things that are sounds and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have the particles like uh, these little enchantment particles. There's like the particles you do whenever you hit something. Uh, see if I can... Stuff like that. There's fire, there's animations. But I'm not going to go over any of that stuff. I don't know why. That looks funky. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Just explore. It's all you need to do. But um, anyway, that'll do it uh, for this little tutorial thing. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. Uh, if you like my content enough, go ahead and click subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And also, leave a comment down below to tell me kind of what things that I could do, uh, you know, tips that I could use for uh, future uh, resource pack stuff. I would really appreciate it. Uh, anything helps. So, yeah. Uh, that's it for this time. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.